OCO, Candice Bird Boney Dawado. Hello, my name is Candice Bird Boney, and today I will be telling the story of why the Cornhusk doll does not have a face. Sawiwa. They say that a long time ago, Unethanahi, creator, gave the Cherokee people three gifts beans, corn, and squash, also known as the Three Sisters. Now, selu, corn, was especially important to the Cherokee people as a source of food and nourishment. One day, the women of the tribe came together and they asked Unethanahi if they could use the corn husks to make into dolls for their children. Unethanahi liked this idea because every part of the corn should be used. So the women made dolls for their children. There was one girl who especially loved her doll. Together, they played together and they, they made up games together and they were very good friends. And one day, they were gonna go meet a group of their friends. So the doll and the little girl set off together and they crossed this pond. Well, the doll caught sight of her reflection in the pond and she sat down and she started looking at herself and looking at her features, looking at her eyes. And the little girl told her doll that they needed to go, they needed to go meet their friends. But the doll told her, oh, you go on ahead. You go on ahead, I'll, I'll catch up later. And the little girl didn't want to leave her doll behind, but she said, okay, I'll see you later. And the little girl went on her way. But the doll kept staring and staring at her reflection in the pond. And she stared for hours and hours until the sun started to go down. Well, it started to get dark, so the doll jumped up and ran home. And she met the girl. And the girl asked her, what happened to you? Everybody was wondering what happened to you. You didn't come and meet us. And the doll apologized to her and said, I'm so sorry, I, I lost track of what I was doing. I just couldn't stop staring at myself. But we'll go and we'll play tomorrow with our friends. And so she and the little girl went to sleep that night. When they got up the next day, they went again to go meet their friends. But as they crossed that pond, once again, that doll caught sight of her reflection in the pond. And she sat down and she started staring at her face, started staring at her features. She was so beautiful. And the little girl once again said to her doll that they needed to go and meet their friends. But the doll told her, you know what? I think I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer. Why don't you go on and I'll catch up later. Well, the little girl went on her way again. But once again, that doll sat and sat and stared at herself for hours and hours until it was dark again. So the doll got up and went back home and met her friend at the door. And the girl asked her again, why are you not coming and playing with us anymore? And the doll apologized and said, I'm, I'm so sorry, I just, I lost track again. I couldn't stop staring at myself. Well, Unethanahi started to take notice. And Unethanahi came to the doll and asked her, why are you not playing with your friend anymore? You were created for this purpose, to keep her company and help her grow. And the doll apologized to Anethlanahi and said, I'm so sorry, I, I've been getting distracted. I just, I can't stop staring at myself in the pond. And Anethlanahi warned her that if she didn't go and play with the, with the little girl the next day, that there would be consequences for her actions. So the next day, the doll and the little girl got up and they went to go meet their friends again. Well, this time, the doll and the little girl avoided the pond altogether, so then that way the doll wouldn't see her reflection at all. And the day went very well. They played together, they laughed together, and they spent hours playing. And they were, they were getting along very well again. And so they went home having had a great day. Now, the next morning when they woke up, the doll just couldn't stop thinking about her reflection in the water. And this time, she convinced the little girl to go back by the pond. And as soon as she saw her reflection in the pond, she sat down again and started admiring herself. And this made the little girl very sad because she believed that her doll had forgotten all about her. Well, Unethana, he noticed. And he came to the doll again and he asked the doll, what are you doing? Why are you not playing with, her, with the little girl anymore? Why are you not playing with your friend? The doll said, you know what? I'm just too pretty to go and play. Why shouldn't I sit here and admire myself? And Unethana, he said, you know what, I think I can help you out. And he touched the doll on her nose. Well, the doll felt a tinkling sensation all over her face. And Unethanahi invited her to look at her reflection again. 
When the doll saw her, saw her reflection this time, she saw that she had no features. She had no face. Her eyes and her nose and her mouth, they were all gone. And Uneth Lenahi told her, I think you'll be able to be a better friend to the little girl now. And so to this day, when we make our cornhusk dolls, none of them have any features, because it's to remind ourselves that vanity can get in the way of having good relationships and good friendships with one another. Mm -hmm.